Hello everyone and welcome back to Ejima. So it's Nana today alone and today I'm going to be talking about careers and just in general I've had a lot of questions about people talking about how much do nurses make you know um did you move without a job um you know like about the cost of living so basically I decided to do a separate video just about that and if you're interested stay tuned so as many of you know I moved to Charlotte about four months ago almost five months now and I do feel as if I do have a lot of experiences or things that I wish I would have known, things that I would just like to share. So maybe your transition may be a little easier. So first and foremost, a question I kept getting asked is about the pay for nurses. And this is something I looked into obviously before I even moved and I was very aware and I accepted that the pay is lower than New Jersey. That's just a reality. That's just, it is what it is. If it was that concerning to me, I would have probably moved to California or would have moved to New York. However, like I keep reiterating in some of my former videos is that at the end of the day, most of the time things balance out or if anything, you still have more money in your bank account. Why do I say this? If you're a nurse, a registered nurse, and you move to California or you move to New York, you make a lot of money, right? So let's say your yearly salary is maybe like 20,000 more, okay? And I'm gonna use a website I was using, I'm gonna insert some links, okay? Just things to back it up, what, back up what I'm saying. Your housing is gonna cost more. The food is gonna cost more. Most likely your tax is gonna be more. So at the end of the day, you know, yeah, you can go somewhere and make more money if that's really what you, if you're ready to like work overtime and whatever, it's still gonna make sense you move into one of those places. But for me, regardless of where I was going to move to, I'm a nurse that I work 40 hours. You know, I'm based in my life off of a 40 hour salary. That's more than enough for me, you know? So the average nurse in North Carolina earns about $30 an hour, okay? I'm gonna link it right here and this is very accurate. This is very accurate. Why do I say this is accurate? So I want to be transparent. There's so many things, factors you have to put into everything. So let's make it clear. I've been a nurse for about three, three, four years now, right? With nursing in general, what gives more money is experience and overtime. That's just a fact. No matter, there's no new nurse. I don't care where, what state she's in, he or she is in, no new nurse is starting with $100,000, making six figures. That's not possible in nursing for a new grad. So let me just put things into perspective. When I first finished nursing school, the highest job offer I received was $35 an hour. As in, this is in 2017, new grad nurse, $35 an hour, which I still have the workup sheet. It came out to about $68,000 in a year. So imagine now that hospital's probably paying a little bit more. However, the job I was working, I did not start off with $35 an hour. That was still kind of high. I started off with $32 an hour, right? So my yearly salary is a little less. However, keep in mind that hospitals use about a 36 hour work week when they're making their salaries. 36 hour, where other, like right now I'm working in the government sector. We use a 40 hour work week. So that's what's gonna make the salaries a little off because at the end of the day, those four hours may sound like, oh, but four hours, that's a lot when you calculate it for 12 months. That adds up. So let's say, um, so let's say my last job, let's start with 32, that's a new grad salary. I ended up making that much more than that, right? So I calculated my last job and if I was to work 40 hours a week, with that last job. My last job I was working in a clinic. I never used to work 40 hours. I used to work like every two weeks, maybe 75 hours or 74. I wasn't working 40 hours on the dot. Cause remember they take out your lunch break and all of that. So let's, I calculate, if I worked 40 hours a week at that job, I would have made about $68,000 in a year. So same thing as that first hospital, what they had offered me. Why? Because that hospital is using 36 hour week, 12, 12 hour shifts, okay? And I'm using a 40 hour shift now because I want to compare it to my current job. So that's, yeah, so about like 68, 67, something like that. So currently I am making less than that. I'm not going to sit here in front. I am making less than that. I did take a pay cut from my last job, okay? 
it's not like crazy significant. I'm still in that range of 60s, but it's more in the, it's in the lower range of that. I'm just trying to be transparent because if I don't put out these numbers and it's going to be so like blah, like, oh, what is she saying? Oh, what is she saying? Again, remember, this is as a nurse to working 40 hours a week, no overtime. A lot of people in general believe nurses make way more than they do because they're looking at nurses who work a lot. The typical nurse, people have bills, people are single parents, people have, you know, the typical nurse works more than 40 hours a week so if you see the lifestyle they're living you see the cars they drive you see the houses they have please keep in mind that not every nurse may be able to meet up to that standard because not every nurse works like that okay let's just put it out there not every nurse works overtime a regular nurse look it up right now I'll put the link in a regular nurse graduating registered nurse new grad is going to make around 60 now it went up about 68, 67, 65, anywhere from 65 to 70K. That's a new grad salary. So I did take a pay cut. At the end of the day, I still feel like it balances out, right? And I knew I was expected to take a pay cut because when I told you the average salary is $30, I was making more than that in New Jersey. So there's no surprises. I didn't come here and say, oh my God, they don't pay this. And then, oh my God, the salary is so low. Oh my. The reason why it's still worth it to me is because, and this is the ranges I was seeing for a lot of jobs I was applying to. Like it's, it's very accurate. These, these online websites are accurate. Like it's not, I applied to a few jobs. I was seeing ranges and I was honestly surprised I even got offered in the six. I was saying it has to be at least in the sixties because some of these jobs I was looking at online my eyes would start twitching. Like I keep saying that my eyes would, I'm like, what? That's it? That's the only, so, like, some of these salaries are even lower. Like some of them were really low. But let's put it into perspective again. Like I don't want to keep rambling. In New Jersey, I was not living by myself. I was living with my mom. I was living with my family, right? If I were to leave that family house, which eventually I would have, even if I stayed in New Jersey, I wouldn't live with my mom forever. I would still want my space. If I left my mother's house, the part, type of apartment I would want, and I'm not even, right now what I'm living in is still pretty basic. Like y'all saw my apartment, so I'll link, link it there. It's just considered luxury because the few amenities it has, but my apartment's not on the high scale. Luxury still has a scale. There's levels even with luxury. There's levels and the same thing. You're not gonna compare a Mercedes, which you see all the time, to a Lamborghini. But they're both luxury cars, right? You know what I mean? Even within the Mercedes itself, there's different ranges of them. There's a Mercedes you see a lot of people have because it's more affordable. Then you see this Mercedes that costs like 90,000, 90, 100,000. So it's the same thing with luxury apartments. My apartment is very standard for luxury. It was built like in 2000. It's pretty old compared to these luxury apartments that are springing up every second. The amount I'm paying now, I cannot get that. I cannot get anywhere close to this to live in this type of apartment in New Jersey. So let's say if I was staying in New Jersey, I still probably would be looking at for rents in a nice, safe neighborhood. I need a washer and dryer. I need basic amenities. I would prefer to have a gym in my complex. I would still be looking at, at the least every month for rent, 18 to $1,900 a month. And I, that's me being liberal. I still think that that what I'm telling, I would say to be safe to put it at 2K, $2,000 a month to be safe for a one bedroom, nice apartment, at certain amenities they have a gym you know it's accessible to things similar to what i'm living in now it would be about two thousand let's say right now my rent is about half of that but my salary my salary is not half of what i was making in new jersey you get what i'm saying so that's the way i look at to put into perspective obviously anywhere you are living with family or living with your parents not paying full rent you're gonna benefit that's just a fact also to keep in mind anywhere you go living alone in a one bedroom apartment, it's costly, no matter where you go. Of course, some places may be cheaper in the city, let me put it, period, living by yourself is just an expensive thing. That's why people get roommates, that's why people get three rooms and split it, you know, because once you live on your own, all the costs are on you. When you have a two bedroom or a three bedroom, usually what I'm noticing when I look at apartments, the cost doesn't really go up that much sometimes, especially with two bedroom. Maybe a one bedroom will be a thousand and a two bedroom is thirteen hundred. So obviously with a, a, someone else and you guys are splitting that thirteen hundred, six fifty each. But if you're by yourself, you're paying the thousand. Do you get where I'm going with this? Yeah. So I think it's just something that you just have to set trying to grow up and just trying to um 
be a little bit independent and be on your own that living alone is not a joke it definitely makes you put things in perspective definitely makes you grateful for where you're coming from like i always say i'm happy i waited until this point and i have things to get that i wouldn't have wanted to rush and be broke or like you know or just have no savings and whatnot but i just hope i answered a lot of you guys questions about you know how much your nurses made cost of living in general i just want to make another point that um like i mentioned my last job I was giving you guys a calculation working 40 hours. I did not work 40 hours. So in the last two years, according to my W-2, the salary I made is only about two to three thousand, about two thousand more than what I'm making now. So at the end of the day, again, I, I would say I took about a two thousand dollar a year pay cut. Okay, did I make up for it? Other, I definitely think it's worth it because no matter how much you make, even if I was making 90k or 80k or or 100k living alone you just have a lot of things you have to pay for like i mentioned the rent then there's a lot of things that maybe you know at home you was using your mother's pots you gotta buy your own pots you get what i'm saying little things you don't even think about just living alone is a big expense everything is on you everything you have to start from scratch kind of thankfully over the years like i was buying stuff little by little like oh yeah well i'll take this and my mom had like a bunch of stuff for her house in Nigeria let's not even talk about that she just gave it to me I'm like yeah my house my apartment needs it more than that house because you'll you'll see my apartment more than you'll see that house so ultimately this just to sum it up um if you're someone that's used to making a lot of money like, you know if you're someone that's used to making that high salary you know like for me I never worked in the hospital I never had that you know overtime pay well I worked overtime sometimes at my clinic a few times so I have made, had overtime before, but I'm not used to that hospital pay. You know, so if you're someone that's used to that hospital pay and you come to a place where I'm telling you they make $30 an hour, you know, when you're used to making probably in the 40s as a base salary, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be a huge difference. It's going to be a, a big, big difference for you. But I mean, you can still work overtime here too. So I just hope I was able to put a lot of things into perspective and let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.